I'm going to show you how to create a before and after slider with a tiny bit of code right now. We've got a blank page with just a container and we're going to drop in some HTML. And then I'm going to drop in this code and blink and you'll miss it. That's it. It's done. That's how quick and easy this is. I have got center center in the code because sometimes aligning isn't always perfect with HTML. So that's why I've got center center in. Otherwise, it would probably be more over to the left or somewhere over there. This is using a bit of JavaScript. Now, the link in the video description will show you the code and also where I got this code from because they have alternate versions. So if you want the slider to be horizontal rather than, no, sorry, let me get this right, to be vertical rather than horizontal, or if you want to have a slightly modified style where you've got the words before and after appearing as well, or maybe you want to have the same image, but one of them is blurred and it's not until you slide it that it becomes clear. They have alternate codes there that you could utilize. This is so simple. We're using two images that are in my media library, or they could be on a bunny CDN or somewhere else. What this does is pull through the URL for image number one, and then the URL for image number two. Really simple. I'm also defining my width and height. I'm having it consistent with both images, square portrait landscape. But once you've done it and you hit update, you then go over to your page, and this is basically it now. We've got our before and after with that tiny bit of code, no extra plugin required, right? I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way to win it life, I never miss that.